Good morning. Uh, today I would like to just show you the overview of the iRobot app. So here's the little icon there. It's very nice. Um, it's nothing that really stands out, but I think it's a nice clean look. So let's go and jump into the app. Um, now right off the bat, you got this giant clean button. It's really nice. It makes the app simple. A lot of these other robot apps that have smart mapping, they give you a, a map. Let me kind of show you what that is. So let's say if I jump into like the Roblox application, and this is, I only have one robot in this app. You can clearly see it's kind of jumbled, you know, you got the map right here, but you got your tabs here. I personally like the iRobots app where it's just one giant clean button here. So up top is the name of the robot. I called it Vacuum. Um, it's ready to go. It's telling me it's still charging. Um, I just completed a training run down in the basement, so that's why it's trying to charge up here. Um, one thing I would like iRobot to add is the percentage of battery life. Um, when you're vacuuming, it will give you uh, the time that it's, that it's taking to clean. Um, also, if it's charging up, like let's say it had to go back to recharge, it will give you an estimated time how long it will take to charge up and then return its uh, cleaning job. Um, the clean button, let's we'll just click on it, gives you a few options. Um, you can clean all the rooms. Um, you can spe specify a room, so I specify a room here. So this is my main floor. I have 12 rooms. Um, so the setup process takes a while. Uh, it takes about two and a half to three hours each training run. And it took three training runs to do my main floor, which is in total about nine hours. But, you know, you just have to put your nose to the grindstone and just, uh, perform the training runs. But once you have it all set up, it's really a pretty simple uh, process. I have learned that it only requires one training run for the robot to map out your home. Um, so let's say, for example, your training run says 20% complete. You can actually force it to say customize and it would actually um, allow you to make boundaries and select rooms with only a uh, impartial complete map. Um, one thing to remember though is make sure that the map is complete, like it actually represents the layout of your home because once you select the customize tab, you will not be able to change the map. Um, you would have to uh, do another training run. That's just one little tip I actually found out. So instead of spending nine hours mapping out my house, I only had to spend two and a half hours. I did that with the basement and it works uh, flawlessly. Um, so that's, oh yeah, I'm sorry. And then this last tab um, pops up if you own both robots. So I have both the Brava M6 and the new Roomba S9. Um, also, this feature will work with the i7 as well. So basically what it does is it allows you to uh, um, add the Brava Jet. So with this um, area, you can actually choose the rooms. So let's say you wanted to clean these rooms, right? And you can see that the list is pretty long. It's like 12 different areas. And then if you go back, it's gonna, um, oops. And if I select a mop, it will do these areas. And you notice that the mop is very, sh it's a lot, sh I'm sorry, it has, less rooms, that's because that's all the hardware floor I have. Um, so the mop isn't gonna uh, map out rooms that have carpeting or can't get over a uh, small threshold. So unfortunately, the mop cannot transition over carpet. So let's say in my scenario, I have a master bathroom, which has tile, but unfortunately it's blocked by um, some carpeting in the master bedroom. So I can't tell the mop Brava jet to mop my master bathroom, even though it technically could, if it could uh, transition over the carpet. So I have to physically move the Brava jet to my master bathroom to perform that task. So maybe in the future update, uh, future models, they would allow it to transition over uh, carpet. So this is the emptying bin. So if you get the plus series, basically it plus 
represents a self-emptying bin. It will empty out the bin itself. Um, so up here is kind of like a menu tab. Um, these are my two robots I currently have. This represents the name and then the nice little uh, image here. Um, this allows you to add a robot to your network. Um, and then it gives you a whole list of robots that iRobot has to offer. Um, smart Home uh, is the smart uh, devices you can add. Um, I know that Alexa, you can tell it to go to specific rooms or multiple rooms. Uh, Google Assistant's a little more basic. It only allows you to start and stop the vacuum. I'm not 100% with IFTT. I've never used that. So if someone knows about IFTT, uh, let us know in the comments if it works or well, you can select specific rooms. Um, the account privacy basically shows you personal information, your email address. Uh, the iRobot store is where you can buy new robots, have it shipped directly to your door. You can buy accessories. Um, this is basically the whole list of uh, robots they currently have available. Um, iRobot is really good at making sure that the prices are competitive to other uh, retail stores. So I wouldn't mind buying from them. So yeah, you can buy pool robots, you can buy gutter robots. You know, they have a lot of different robots. Um, if you're into like programming, you get one that you can use to program. Very cool stuff. I like that this app is a one-stop shop. Um, let's go back in here. Uh, about this app, basically gives you information about what version you're on. Um, you can also follow them on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, I think it's Instagram and Face. I don't know what that one is. Snapchat or something? Not 100% sure. You probably laugh at me since I don't know that one. And then, let's see. Let's go back one more time. And then the beta program. This is basically if you want to try out new features. I chose not to do this. Um, I like how it's working now. I just don't want to have a lot of bugs, especially if I want to rely on the product to work every day. So I just chose to just stay out of that. Um, now down here are some more preferences. Going to, oops. So this is basically how you want the robot to clean. It's like a power settings. Um, detail clean is kind of like the average. Um, it will just basically, it's not the highest section power, but it's not the lowest. It's good for like everyday cleaning, like it says. You get about 75 minutes in this mode and this one you get close to two hours called quiet clean it's good if you just run it daily um i me personally if i'm gonna run a vacuum i want it to clean the best possible so i actually select custom with the highest power setting which according to uh robot vacuum was it runs at 22 cfm and i also forced it to do uh two passes um because i wanted to give it the most still cleaning um, the battery life is only 50 minutes in this uh, current selection, but the robot will go back to his charger, charge up, and then resume cleaning. So it's not really an issue with the uh, battery life. And I usually just select a, a specific room. I don't clean the entire house. Um, here's my history report. Um, basically, this here is my total square footage. So these long bars are the training runs I performed. And these shorter ones are just single rooms I've done. So this top one I just did today is a training run of my basement. Um, so this is the charging base. These little gray, or well, I think it's gray areas, represent the way the robot couldn't clean. Um, I really like the map. It's very accurate. It's clean looking. It's a lot better than what these slider based robots are. Um, here are my collection of robots. I have the 360 S6 and the uh, Roborock S5. And those use lasers. And I find out that the uh, laser map is a little messy. See how it kind of gets distorted over there? Um, that's because there was a glass window and it kind of screwed the laser off. And you can see some right there as well. Um, so that's the smart map. And then I like it gives you notifications on exactly what's going on. Um, this is your square footage. I'm not 100% sure how accurate that is. 
it took an hour and nine minutes. So each time you do a training run, it learns the layout of your, your room a little bit better and it does it a little bit quicker. Because the last time, I think it took an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, let's go back here. Um, let's do, yeah, see, the last one, the first training run was an hour and 25, and then the second one was an hour and nine minutes. Uh, and then your lifetime uh, basically tells you how many jobs you've had for the entire life of the robot, how many hours, and how many automatic uh, empty counts. kind of like a uh, odometer for your robot. So if you ever want to sell your robot, you can actually tell your customer, oh, I've only used the robot for two days or something. Um, now let's go to scheduling. So I really like the scheduling feature. It's very robust. Um, so if I click on the schedule tab, I apologize. It's a little hard to tap when I'm looking through a screen. Um, this basically is the time you can specify what day you want it to run. Um, unfortunately, it only gives you once or weekly. Um, I would like it to have a monthly or hell, even a yearly, um, just in case maybe you have an area where you never have traffic and you only want to do that once a month. That'd be a nice little tab. Um, this is one that a lot of apps don't offer. You can specif specify each room. So let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I wanted to do the master bedroom and maybe the Caitlin's bedroom and then every other day, maybe Saturday, Tuesday, Thursdays, do the front hallway and then the kitchen will be every day. You can set up certain times and have these rooms set up, which is really handy, you know, it's it's basically a fully self-contained system. And then you can also select your cleaning preference. But I would always leave it for me at the highest power setting and do two passes. I really like that. It's um, very um, clean looking, easy to use, easy to set up. Um, here's my smart maps. Oh, I accidentally told it to uh, start cleaning. Actually, I'm sorry. I actually told it to empty out the bin. Okay, let's try to go back here. So now I have a new map ready to go. This is my basement. I kind of want to show you what happens after your training runs are complete and it's ready. So you notice it says new map, ready to customize. So let's go ahead and select the customize button. And now it tells me, let's go ahead and customize. And it tells me I can select all these rooms. By default, uh, the robot will try to uh, figure out what are distinguished as rooms, but you can always change those. So let's call this basement. Okay, and now we're going to add a divider. So I'm going to just shoot this on camera. Um, let's see, I think I want this. I guess that's okay. That's a little odd, this room here, but I'm just going to briefly show you. Yeah, if I can get it. Yeah, I'm having trouble doing it. Um, maybe I have to cancel. I'm sorry. So, can I delete the divider? Yeah, there you go. Now you can delete the divider. Alright, but yeah, that's just a way to show how to delete the divider. And then you can also, um, change rooms as well. So that's basically um, do your map. So unfortunately, these bars will run the entire length of a room. You cannot say, oh, I just wanted to go over this little area um, and act at like boundary areas. It doesn't work that way. Um, okay, well, that's basically the basic layout there. Let's keep going with this video get way too long. Okay. So that's a smart mapping. And then the more tab. This is the final tab. It kind of basically tells you how to care for your robot. Um, it's extremely important with robotic vacuums. 
um, you want to make sure you uh, empty out the bin regularly. With S9 Plus, it's not a huge deal, uh, but kind of tells you if you the disposal bag, you can buy new ones. It will kind of walk you through how to wash the bin, the bin well. It's really cool. It's um, I I love it. Really made it like user friendly, and they. This is something I haven't seen in any other robot. Open the lid and remove the bin. Yeah, it's it's really Lift neat. It's. Filter. I think that anyone can use these robots without any problems. Hell, even my grandma could probably use this robot. Setting up may be a little challenge for her, but I think once it's all set up, it really is idiot proof. Um, so I like that. And if you get like an error message, all you have to do is click on it and there's usually like a help form that will walk you through how to solve the error. And that's about it. I hope, oh, I'm sorry. The help section basically gives you all the information about it. You can contact iRobot. They have a bunch of videos that you can get the warranty. Um, and then settings is you can name the vacuum, um, gives you details about um, the software. The birthday is when I buy it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. June 13th. Um, I don't know, because I bought the vacuum way earlier, but maybe that's when it was powered on. Uh, bend behavior. Uh, this is where you want to have it checked if you have the plus. Basically, it will stop cleaning and go back to its charger, empty out the bin, and then return. If you don't have this check, it will just um, keep cleaning, um, which you probably don't want it to do. Um, yep, that's about it. Reduce power mode. Basically, if you're going on a long trip, um, you can save a little bit of money by having it just go in a like kind of like a stasis sleep. Um, unfortunately, you can't wake the robot up with the app. It's only good if you're going on like a vacation or something. Um, factory reset. You can remove the vacuum. Map privacy. You can choose to use the mapping features, not happening mapping features. Unfortunately, iRobot does need to upload the data to their servers. Um, but, you know, I got nothing to hide. I don't care if they know the layout of my home. Um, and that's about it. I apologize that this video is kind of long, but I just kind of wanted to... Oops, one more thing is you got a notification tab. Um, and then it gives you all these messages. Yeah, basically that's it. Um, I like how clean the app is. I just wanted to go through everything that the app offered. Um, I think it's one of the best apps out there for robotic vacuums. And I give iRobots a good thumbs up. Thank you and see you next time.